first episode, first episode, first day of the vlog. It's Tuesday the 11th. Um, I, fuck, lost my train of thought. I read a ton over the weekend, like a ton. Um, let me get the list because I won't remember off the top of my head because as you guys know, I only read for clout. Uh, I'm never gonna let that go. <laughs> um, I read... Uh, I Am Still Alive was, I think, what I was finishing up in the last vlog. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed by that because it was marketed as a revenge book and it was most definitely not a revenge book, but that's fine. Um, and then I read The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein, Girlwood, Thirteens, Dragon Pearl, and Ink all over the weekend. Um, Girlwood surprised me. It was actually a really, really cute book. Um, I personally wouldn't have classed it as a young adult book, but whatever. Uh, but it did surprise me. I did not expect it. <sighs> Whew, sorry, it's 7 a.m. I did not expect it to be as good as it was. Um, no Gods, No Monsters was a very disappointing arc. The reason it was disappointing was because the writing style is pretty chaotic, which I like. I actually like chaotic style writing. I like books that require you to think a little bit more to read them. I like all of those things. Unfortunately, this one, the plot payout at the end just didn't come together enough for it to be good, which really sucks because the representation was amazing. You've got, you know, a polyamorous relationship because, like an open relationship because the woman in the relationship is queer and the man in the relationship is asexual. Like, that was really cool. There is um, ethnicity, like tons of ethnicities in the book. Um, and it talks about police violence and, and that kind of thing and riots and protesting that kind of thing uh, from this urban fantasy point of view. And it has the groundwork for something really amazing, but because of the way it came together in the end and the way the points of, points of view switched, it was just like, I am not having fun. There's also a ton of characters and I felt like that was a little bit of a distraction as well. Um, Ink is <laughs> like a dis dystopian let me see when this book came out because 2017 i'm really surprised so ink came out in 2017 but i ex it, it's written like a 2012 dystopian um it wasn't the best it was okay i rated it three stars am i gonna read the rest probably not <laughs> And then yesterday I read A Discovery of Witches, and, um, why is that book so long? That book felt like three books in one book, and it's a trilogy. So I'm like, I don't know if I want to read the other books, because why was that book so long? Today I'm starting House of Hollow. I started it a little bit last night, um, I started it a little bit last night and read, uh, listened to like two hours of it, so I'm gonna keep listening to it and work on my blanket a little bit. Cause I'm trying to catch up on my mood blanket. I'm currently at April 20th. It is May 11th. <laughs> so, um, hopefully I get caught up on that a little bit. I'd like to at least get caught up to May in general. Maybe just five days behind would be great. We'll see. Um, that's the plan for the day. I will hopefully check back in later, maybe get some filming of me working on the blanket or, or reading. Um, I also started Iron Widow by I'm gonna say her name incorrectly, so I'm gonna actually do some research before I go and try and say her name, but um, you guys have probably seen her on Twitter. So I started that, and it's really, really good. Um, main character is a bitch, and like, I love a main character who's like, she literally does not want to be likable, and I love that for her. <laughs> So I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to try and get like 50% into House of Hollow and then get 50% into Iron Widow and then like from there just live my best life. I might be starting Fairy Hounds of York also today. Not 100% sure about that, but but yeah, it's the current plan. I'll check back in later. Hello, I went to the library. Um, so I'm just going to show you my library hall real quick. We've got... Neverworld Wake by Marissa Pessel. Um, looks like some kind of maybe Peter Pan-esque vibes. I don't know. Um, it says I was going to be stuck here forever here in the Neverworld where I'd never grow old, never have a family, never fall in love. I was a ticking clock in a timeless world. And that's it. That's all that it says, which was enough for me. We got the next book in 
this trilogy that I don't remember what the trilogy name is, um, but it's The Winner's Crime, which is the sequel to The Winner's Curse. Uh, very exciting because I want to read the sequel uh, to that other book. I have a migraine, so I'm not going to answer questions. Remember how earlier I talked about ink and how it wasn't very good and maybe I'm not going to read the sequel? The sequel was at the library, so I grabbed it because it's not very big and I kind of want to know what happened, even though I didn't like love the book, so... We have that. Then we got Winterwood by Shay Earnshaw. Um, she or they? She has another book called The Wicked Deep that looks. The cover looks identical to this, and the story sounds identical to this. But anyway, um, this is like a be careful of the dark, dark wood, like dark fairy tale kind of thing. Which, if you recall, back in the beginning of my social media stuff, I pretty much was like cynical dark fairy tale reader was my tagline on everything um which is still very much what I like to read uh then we got Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer which is the next book in the Renegades series I was very excited to get to continue this series it's definitely a superhero sci-fi vibes which is much more of art's thing than my thing but um I enjoyed it and so and art and I share a brain cell so you know I'm sorry I dropped my pen and it scared my dog so uh, then we have the witch's heart by Genevieve I'm not gonna attempt to say that I think I added this on my want to read or I like I don't know a banished witch falls in love with Loki so reimagining of Norse mythology that's not like my personal you know vibe but we got it. We grabbed it. Uh, it's a new book, so very exciting stuff. Just making sure I have a nice stack here. And then the last one is going to be The Hidden Pieces by Paula Stokes. This is a young adult thriller. Hopefully not a contemporary, because if so, I'm going to kill myself. I'm not going to do that. Uh, small Town, Big Secret, Deadly Game, it says. My inner pieces, I don't show those hardly to anyone. To hardly anyone. I really wanted to get Dumplin', but they only had Pumpkin, which is like the next book, and um, I really want to read those books, and I really want to read Dumplin', so so I didn't get them. I'm going to possibly put it on hold and request it to be sent to my local library, but anyway, yeah, those are the books that I got at the library, so very exciting stuff. I'm going to see if any of them have audiobook companions um, in the Libby app, because if so, then I'm going to get those as well, but that's it. I'm going to get ready for bed. Hope you guys had a good day. Catch you tomorrow. Okay, thanks. Bye. Oh, I like read a shit ton, but I'm going to talk about it tomorrow. Yeah, bye. We opened the Discord, <laughs> and it's very nerve-wracking. I am very anxious, um, but exciting. Uh, I had to restart my computer because it was giving me VPN issues. Um, but yeah. So we'll see how this goes. It looks like there's already like 20 people <laughs> in it, which is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give that update as I panic about it. I don't know what's happening here, to be clear. update like Thursday or Friday um, I took filler but I didn't update I don't know what my hair looks like so let's just um, not talk about it uh, let's see I read a shit ton I read Isle Witch uh, which is the next trilogy like the first book in the next trilogy in the Shannara series by Terry Brooks. Read that. Red Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. That is the like superhero story thing. Superhero versus villains like identity crisis romance story. Um, finished The Unbroken yesterday, last night actually. Um, very good. It was a very good book. 
I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I think a lot of people have an issue with the way that the um, relationship works in that book and I think that they're wrong so anyway good book I enjoyed it um today I'm going to be starting Vicious Spirits by Kat Cho I believe that's the author um that is the next book um after Wicked Fox so I'll be starting that um now I should have started it like 15 minutes ago no that's not true um, I'm actually going to be getting 50% into Hummingbird Salamander by Jeff Vandermeer. I got this uh, signed a copy when I virtually attended, sorry my dog's eating, when I virtually attended the Texas book conference thing, the San Antonio book conference thing, I don't know whatever it was called. Um, so I got that and so I'm trying to read it. I'm, I struggle with Jeff Vandermeer's writing a little bit because it's a little bit out there. Um, I want to know what's happening so <laughs> and then I'm gonna get 50% uh, into Bright Ruined Things which is a historical fantasy um Samantha Cahoon I think wrote it I don't know I haven't taken my meds yet so my memory is it, it hasn't come in yet uh Amazon Prime did but you know it only comes with the Adderall um I do. I had read another arc by this author. I didn't realize it was the same author. Um, and I did not enjoy that book. Uh, Art also read it and didn't enjoy it so much. I was like, am I just really fucking stupid? Um, and this book is better. It's better. So today I am going to get 50% into both of those books and then I'm going to finish Vicious Spirits and then I'm going to finish Cool for the Summer. I got Cool for the Summer as an audiobook from NetGalley. Um, but it's already out, so I went ahead and got the ebook as well, so that I could um, get through it. <laughs> like if I didn't, Nightgalley's audiobook player is bullshit. So, and I can only do two times speed, which is really a problem for me. Um, and they don't let you download the audio files, which I guess I understand. But like, Audible has figured out how to have protected audio files, so like, you know, like just give me, <laughs> just I don't know the rules around here, but. I was tempted to just buy the audiobook since it's out, uh, but I don't have that in the in the books right now financially. Um, but yeah, that's the vibe. I think I'm also going to start one last stop if I have time for it, but we'll see what happens. So that's the game plan for today. I'm also going to catch up on my blanket. I am one and a half rows, rows away from having April done, and then I need to do May. Catch up on May. It's May the 15th. So yeah, kind of bullshit that I'm this far behind. But I like moved and then like had a bunch of medical shit that I needed to do. And then like I had a shit ton of migraines. So it happens, you know, but I'm going to get caught up this weekend. All right. I need to get to reading. I'm already behind on my schedule that I have given myself. So Bella sent me a TikTok the other day and maybe if I can save it and put it here, I will. But if like talked about how like books are always there for when you want to have a good time or when you want to enjoy them and you shouldn't feel so pressured by your TBR and I think I need to make it very clear that like very strict schedules and routines bring me inner peace they give me spoons I love them and that's just me like I have time blocking for my weekends because I don't like unplanned time I don't know what to do with it and it stresses me out I don't like to have unplanned time um, I don't like to have non-productive time, like, and that's not to say, like, I consider playing video games non-productive. It's not that, because, like, I like to play video games and I like to complete video games, and so I consider that productive time. Um, but, like, just taking a nap in the middle of the day, I consider non-productive time. Also, I'm not a napper, I'm not, like, someone who does that regularly, so if that's something that happens, my body probably needed it, but it still feels like a waste of time, so... Anyway, that's my update for today. I'm gonna get to read it now. Okay, thanks, bye. See you in a bit.
so this is me closing the vlog out. Hi, hello, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, could I tell you what I did over the weekend? No, because I don't remember, but um, because it's Wednesday. I haven't even updated the next vlog because it's fucking Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, lots of crafting, lots of reading. Uh, I got stuff to do though, so I will talk to you guys next week. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, I get it. It's my life. Um, turn notifications on because sometimes they don't always, like people don't always get notified of my videos. And take care of yourselves, take your meds, drink some water, go outside if it's, if that's something you're capable of doing. Um, that's it. Okay, thanks, bye. See you on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time.